So a couple of weeks ago, we released our new fully customizable embeddable assistant, AKA the widget. And I just wanted to run through it today to show you exactly what you can do with it, what you can customize and how it works basically. So log into Synflow, go to assistance, then press create assistant, click start from scratch, then select widget. We're going to give this one a name. We're going to call it customer support. So this is one that you maybe display on the bottom right hand side of your website. You can select two models. You can select the Synflow model or you can select real time voice by OpenAI. You won't have as many settings as and as much like customization options if you're using real time voice, but let's select it anyway. And you can choose which type of visualizer you want. So you have a sphere, which looks like this on the right hand side, or you can select a radial. You can also change the color of said radial. Let's go black just for speed. And you can see how it looks on this side. If you do start a call, you can see how this connects. And then the radio, when you start talking, you can see this. Hey there, how can I assist you? Okay, that's how the visualization looks with that one. And then if you go to Sphere, let's do the same. Hey there, how can I assist you? Cool. Next, you can customize it even further. So you've got like things like background colors, button backgrounds. So you can pretty much tailor make it to your brand guidelines or colorways, etc. Now we've also given you the ability to allow the widget to float. So you can position it in different places on your site. You can do things like show the name when collapsed or you don't show the name when collapsed. If you wanted to expand on the page load, you can or keep it minimized. It's an option. Select bottom right, top right, and then do a delay. So maybe you want like a 10 millisecond delay. Also, we've added a nice little preview video here too. So if we toggle that on, I'll show you what that looks like. There we go. So you can have like an avatar in the bottom right hand corner of your site. And if you click it, it opens up the widget and then automatically connects you. For things like the prompt you're going to get a default prompt here with a custom greeting so what's the first thing you want the user to, to hear from the assistant and then you have a basic script so if you go to edit you're going to be able to edit this script but you can use the same structure so this one you've got inbound customer support for a real estate company is a template you have background info objection handling script instructions etc and you can just tweak this for your business let's save that and next, you can also connect it to action. So if there's specific things that you want to happen during the call, maybe you want to book a, a meeting with anybody on the team, you can do that with real-time booking and cal.com. Let's go to add. Now actually, point, that won't work with OpenAI. So if we can change this, OpenAI doesn't actually have actions yet. Let's change the synth flow. Go to actions and now we can add real-time booking with cal.com create an action drop in your api key or your go high level account connect up an event in cal.com and then you can make real-time bookings information extractors if you wanted to pull out specific bits of information like what the query is about the event id or the customer id etc you can do that with information extractors that means that the ai will look out for this piece of information and extract it from the call and you can send it via webhook or integration into any other application you want. Or you can develop full custom actions that interact with any systems or any API that you need. One that I really liked recently was a restaurant booking custom action, which would check the forecast for that date and then bring the weather back, the weather forecast back inside of that call to suggest if you should sit inside or outside. That's just one idea. So that's pretty much it. There's another thing which you can actually customize in here, which is the pause before speaking, idle duration, speaker boost, enable recordings, and the call duration. This is probably a good one, so someone doesn't leave it running by default. You can maybe set it to five minutes max. That's pretty useful. And the voice. If you're using the Synflow LLM, you can customize a voice. This is Natasha, but you can have any Eleven Labs voice or import a voice too from Eleven Labs. That's pretty easy. You can select a number of languages, male, female, etc.
Next, you can select patients, level, stability, start exaggeration, similarity, optimize latency. So you can tweak this, fine tune it as much as you want. All no code so you can get started really quickly. That's basically the overview of our new widget. Oh, one more thing. If you go to radial, you can see that you have this image in here. You can customize this. Hey there, so if how you can have, I assist you? If you have an actual image of a customer support member, you can add it in this radio too, and you can upload it here. That's the overview of our new widget system, embed, fully embeddable. Anyway, you can customize the code or embed it down here in the bottom right by selecting this. And I look forward to seeing what you're doing with it. Enjoy.